Thursday, they will be mandatory. In Toronto's transit system, masks will soon be a new reality here and in every enclosed space in the city. We know we are at a critical time in the fight against COVID-19 and that we must do everything we can to avoid the flare-ups that we've seen in other places. Across the greater Toronto area, one mayor after another is making masks mandatory in indoor public places or planning to. In Markham, at a drive-in movie event. Great to see so many of you out here. Mayor uh, Frank Scarpiti says safe distancing is one rule. Masks should be another. Do we say that seat belts are highly recommended? I mean, at the end of the day, we are protecting each other here. The growing evidence that masks can protect from transmitting and catching the virus is proof here. After dozens of staff got infected, Longo's enforced a mask policy for everyone in its grocery stores two months ago. We think that wearing the masks of team members and customers has made a big difference in that, that we're not getting the transmission within the store. So, uh, so we're really happy that we made that decision. And while that decision will become law in more places, most provinces, including Ontario, aren't calling for a blanket policy. But as restrictions ease and with a second wave on the horizon, a growing call from medical experts that a recommendation alone is not enough. I think if we give people advice on when it's recommended and when you could or you should, it still leaves it very much open to judgment and, and it's a bit wishy-washy. And what we need now is clarity as to what we're expected to do. From subways to shops, officials are relying on compliance rather than enforcement. With the expectation the clearer the rules, the more likely people will follow them. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto.